and welcome back, folks. With me already finishing up the Quirk series, I got out of work early, saw Despicable Me, and I still got a bunch of time. I figured, why not do just, uh, another entry in the full uh, Powers on Pacto series? We did all Mauricio Mido as the first one, and I thought it was appropriate, seeing as he was the first one I did for the Bankai theory. Here, though, let's move on to someone we actually know as a Bankai, and we could theorize on the full potential of it. Uh, Ikaku Matarame. He is Zanpakuto Hozuki Maru, and it's Bankai Ryomon Hozuki Maru, seen right there, are predominantly melee types. Um, what, what, what do we know about the, uh, Ikaku's actual Zanpakuto? That's the question we need to ask first off. When released, it takes the form of basically, uh, I believe it's called a naga, Naganate, uh, basically a spear. But its actual form is that of a three-section staff, as you see right here, which allows for unpredictable movements, a little bit more versatility, a bit more of an extended reach. However, that's really all, that's really its main ability. That's really all it can do. Uh, and furthermore, as far as we know, as we only saw it the one time, Ryomon Hozakimaru is just a power tool. It is simply a massive amount of power, and it doesn't even have any real defense to it. It's been damaged and is weaker than it was prior. So, I, the question clearly becomes, what would the full potential of this Zanpakuto be? Let's look at the Shikai first. First off, the full potential would be predicated on Ikaku getting his Bankai fixed by um, Omaida. No, Omaida. Um, or it's Oetsu. By Oetsu. But what is the full capacity, the full potential of this Zompakto? It doesn't even have anywhere else to go beyond here. It doesn't have any extra ability whatsoever. And I think the answer to that is not really, at least not in the Shikai. The Shikai, I think, is pretty maxed out on its potential. The, the most Ikaku do is just get stronger than spiritual pressure, which would strengthen the Zompak toe. In theory, if he's got enough energy, he could twirl it around in the air, maybe creates like a wind effect, maybe? We do see a little bit of that going on when he's using a real mode of Zokimaru. He has to like spin it around to get its power at to full power. But that's not really an ability, it's just like a byproduct of just moving a large weapon around. But there is one thing about Ikaku Zanpakuto that is interesting. And it actually happens in the base form of Zanpakuto. So Ikaku's, um, Ikaku Zanpakuto, Huzuki Maro, obviously it has this release form here with, uh, with Gro, Huzuki Maro, or Extend, I believe, one of the two. And... It doesn't do much here, but it actually has not an actual. It's tough to say because I believe if I'm correct in stating, uh, if I'm correct in uh, saying, I believe it was confirmed. This is in fact a ability of the Zompakto. This is something that the Zompakto actually has, um, and that is, it actually has a little storage component with this um, ointment. That, uh, yeah, uh, though it resembles it, it's, it's hilt is hollow to store a small vial of healing ointment, which uh, he can access through by removing the hilt's pommel. Uh, it's uh, so there is an ointment that's stored in the um, uh, in the pommel of the blade, in the hilt of the blade. And if I remember correctly, Bubo was asked about this. He actually did say this is an ability of the Zompakto. It's a very minor ability. And it's weird that it's a... Um, yeah, I'm just gonna... Is the healing ointment... Healing... Um, let's say... Oh, yeah, ointment. Ointment uh, in Ikaku's... Yeah, there we go. Ikaku's uh, Shikai... Okay. Uh, what does Shikai do? Da, 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 da. Wow, they don't really, um, bring my, they don't bring that in. I know somewhere I read that that is actually an ability of the Zanpakuto. Uh, now, that being said, I'm not 100%, even I'm not 100% certain because it's not like it's just stored in the hill. It's stored in a vial in the hilt or a little, little ointment holder in the hill. So I don't know about that. But, if we were to assume maybe that this sword does have a little byproduct ability of having ointment in the hilt, that's something we could work with? 
The idea that maybe this ointment would get stronger the stronger he gets, though he would heal faster. But as far as I'm but as looking into it further, uh, I'm not finding anything about it beyond the fact that it's just there. Although it appears around the Rambo's says state, it seals state, it has a blood clotting. Like, nothing I ha can find here. Um, uh, it, then, yeah, nothing I can find here really says that that is a actual ability of the uh, Zombok Toe. Now, I've heard some... Now, apparently, the Bankai allegedly has a secret ability as well. The more blows Suzuki Maro takes, the stronger it becomes. This essentially means the longer the battle continues, the stronger Ikaka will become, making it nearly impossible to defeat him in a long-haul battle. I have never once heard that that's what the sword's ability is. All I have ever heard is it's a power tool. And it's, you know, it's just straight power. That's that's just it. It's just pure offense. That said, however, honestly, weirdly enough, this sounds more like a uh, ability Kapachi would have. Like, the more hits he takes, the stronger he gets. Um, I, yeah, I'm like, I'm not seeing anything that's the, saying that's the case here. Uh, but that would kind of add up a little bit. Because Ikaku is someone who is very similar to Kenpachi, fights for sport. So, if we go with that idea, or maybe something a bit more along the lines of that idea, maybe the potential of the Zanpakuto can be released simply through combat. Overall, the Shikai, I don't think, really can go much further than what we got here. Maybe the blade could get longer. Maybe that could happen. Like, maybe he has a bigger blade later on. I could see that being a being a thing. Maybe the tassel gets longer for some shenanigans, something like that. So there's that. But Ryomon Ozukimaru, I think, does have more room for potential. First and foremost, it starts, it, these chain, it's clearly the three section staff, like, brought the full, like, it's still got three parts to the sword. Each one's usable. I think, though, assuming the Bonka could be fixed, and maybe he realizes his full potential or whatever. I think some things you can do, for example, would be ret uh, the blades retracting back into the center blade, although it doesn't look like you can do that. Maybe the Bankai evolves. Uh, and turning into just one large weapon, similar to has it can be a staff or a three-section staff. Furthermore, being able to just start at full power instead of, you know, having to power up through combat is, uh, I think, would be advantageous as well. But beyond that, there's not much else we can add that logically makes sense. Having a wind ability doesn't really make sense as it doesn't display it in the Shikai. The only other thing I could honestly think of, seeing as it would still be in the Zanpakuto when it transforms, is that perhaps the Zanpakuto could have a secondary ability like repairing his wounds or something if it gets uh, at some point having like immense like ointment stored somewhere in the sword maybe like in say maybe the like those back ends of the zanpakuto that you see uh where he's holding it the pommels or whatever maybe there's a much larger amount of ointment in there he can just douse himself in it and just heals his wounds because you are stored that like the sword, that ointment just can't just disappear and be destroyed it has to like turn into something i imagine so i maybe that's something you could work with there Maybe you could go with the maybe you could go with the idea that the longer he is fighting, the stronger he gets. Granted, for I don't buy that. I don't. I think someone was mistranslating that uh, because he didn't start out at full power. The longer the fight went on, it was waking the sword up. He had to force it awake. That's how that worked. So yeah, ultimately, Ikakus is one that, apart from maybe just strengthening the defensive capabilities of the blade, mind you, it it's not going to really have much going on with it in terms of its actual um uh in terms of what it actually can do but the idea that it can get stronger over time isn't a bad idea the idea that maybe the ointment could still be there in the bankai maybe just more excessive and more potent amounts isn't a bad idea i mean maybe he can move maybe if he just learns to use it effectively maybe he can get like a wind slicing effect whenever he like cuts maybe that's an or if he just waves it like a fan, maybe he can honestly get like a giant gust of wind off that. There could be some wind application there. I just don't think it's really all that likely. It's not a wind-based Sompak toe. But wouldn't it be cool if it was? 
Actually, you know, I would really dig Onikaku having, like, a melee with a wind-type Zanpakuto. Like, there's a wind-slicing effect with the Zanpakuto. That'd be kind of cool. And it would fit him, honestly. Um, and it would be a pretty base ability, but, like, gathering wind when he cuts and just whoosh, slicing someone, that'd be kind of cool. I'd actually be digging. I'd dig on that. But, no, that's not the case. Still, though, that's my thoughts. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. What do you think is the full potential of this Zanpakuto if it hasn't already reached it? Let me know in the comments below. But until then, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.